life coach training is the ultimate thing you should do, especially young in life coach training, because it's individuation. If you don't know your purpose or you're not sure what you want to do, but you know that there's more in you, it's perfect for someone who is in that stage where what's next in life, what is next. And so it helps you discover your purpose and see your potential. It's changing the way you perceive the world and yourself so you can create whatever you want. And so, you know, there's misconceptions of that. A lot of people think life coaching is therapy, that you're going to help people with their wounds and their healing, their traumas and their, their childhood. And no life coach training is really forward focused. It's about how do you bring a, a high functioning individual, not someone who needs therapy. There's plenty of therapists out there. There's nothing wrong with therapy and there's a place for therapy. But life coaching is about taking a functioning human being who just needs to understand their psyche, understand their patterns in a way that can be uh, used to help them create the potential in their life, to live their potential. To uh, have that third birth. Yeah, they're ready for that <laughs> third birth. They're social. They don't have social issues or dysfunctions in that way. They're really, you know, they, they're functioning, confident people. Uh, successful in their careers and built up great lives, but they're kind of dissatisfied and they're looking for that spiritual connection. Another misconception a lot of people say is, well, I have to work on myself first. I, f I don't feel like I can help mm -hmm. anyone because I'm confused. And the best way to be uh, to help others is to teach others. And so yeah. you know, there's always yeah. someone who knows less than you. There's always someone who's a little bit behind the process than you. So as you grow, there's people that you can help that haven't reached that stage yet. Um, but you don't have to be enlightened. I think a lot of people think, well, I have to be enlightened. I have to have all the answers. And if I don't, then, you know, why would people come to me or they don't feel confident enough? It's no, it's, it's going through the process of individuation helps you experience yourself. So then you're clear that when someone's stuck in their own stuff, you don't have to know why the source of it or you know, all those things and have them work through it. You have to say, well, here's the potential and you're kind of moving them forward. And it's understanding the mind. If you understand your mind, you understand others' yeah. minds. You don't have to diagnose them or- No, on the contrary, yeah. the, often the, the challenges that we have become our greatest strengths. Yes. Right. And uh, I love what you said that uh, the the blocks uh, are really the bridges for yes. us. Yeah. And so people that come to you aren't looking to be fixed uh, in our model. Uh, they're coming to find the bridge. And the coach is actually the bridge. The coach can show them, oh, wait, you have the, you're seeing this thing here and you're seeing it as a whole. I'm, I'm making mm -hmm. a bridge for you. I'm, I'm taking you and I'm, I'm showing you the, the way to go up <laughs> versus how to get out of that hole. Like you're already, you know, you're, it's not a hole, it's a potential. And, you know, um, I see this all the time where people, I'll coach people and they'll be in this, you know, life transition, whether it's job or career or relationship. And, um, and it's in that wrestling with the conflict that's happening is what gives them the fuel for their growth and for their enlightenment. And so you don't have to fix their problems. A lot. Another misconception is, oh, if I'm a life coach, everyone's going to dump their problems on me. And that's <laughs> not your responsibility. You're not taking on people's problems. You're giving them solutions. So yeah. if you want to listen to problems all day, maybe you should be a therapist. But if you want to help people reach their potential and get them out of this past and move them to the present, seeing their potential, then you should look into coaching. Another misconception is that if you take life coach training, you have to be a life coach, hmm. that you just have to be a coach. Uh, most people that take our training, actually, um, they don't end up being coaches. They end up using the tools in their, in their practice or their company. Uh, some become leadership coaches, leadership people in their companies. Um, some people uh, take their beautiful talents of music and art and use the tools as a way to express that in a different way, uh, helping other artists become successful, but they're not just life coaches. You know, they're, they're using it in a more creative way. And that's really what I love. Um, some of our coaches, uh, the graduates uh, are, are medical doctors or in the medical field and nurses and healers uh, in that kind of traditional medical 
field and they want to do something more uh, spiritual and con- working with consciousness and mind body. So they're integrating the consciousness and the spiritual work into their yeah. work. Yeah. And so it, it's, it, it, life coaching can be a bridge to bring in your gifts and talents that your soul wants, help you realize it through the process of becoming your true self, and then be able to fit it into something that feels right to you and fulfilling and meaningful. Yeah, well, I was talking to a student recently, and she was telling me the, I that how how incredible it was that we were able to fit uh, like a deep philosophy in a practical way, mm-hmm. right? That you you can apply it where you're at right now mm-hmm. in whatever position or job you have, but you can also create a business for yourself if mm-hmm. you you know if you choose to. You're essentially working to free other people, to give other people the chance to be born at that higher level, and, and as well as developing yourself in the process. 